Hello guys, how are you? I hope all fine. Today in this video we are going to talk about three types of lightning bugs. You know, there are three types of them and they are some types of beetles such as fireflies or trisalis and clicker beetles. Some fly larvae are cave dwellers, a genus of Cockroach, Luminos, Naht. Firstly, fireflies, also known, known as lightning bugs, are a type of beetle that are known for their bioluminescence or the ability to produce light. They are found in many parts of the world, but are most common in tropical and temperate regions. Fireflies use their light to attract mates and to communicate with each other. The light is produced by a chemical reaction between two substances in the firefly's body, luciferin and luciferase. The light can range in color from green to yellow to orange depending on the species. Fireflies spend most of their lives as larvae, living in soil or leaf litter and feeding on other insects. They type typically only live for a few weeks as adults, during which time they mate and lay eggs. Fireflies are often associated with warm summer nights and their flashing lights can be a beautiful sight to behold. However, firefly population have been declining in many parts of the world due to habitat loss and pesticide use. So it's important to take steps to protect these fascinating insects. A tri sallies is a protective covering that forms around the body of a butterfly or moth during the pupal stage of its life cycle. This is the stage when the insect undergoes metamorphosis, transforming from a larva caterpillar into an adult. The trisalis is formed by the caterpillar which spins a silk thread around its body, then sheds its outer skin. The chirisalis is usually oblong in shape and can be green, brown or other colors, depending on the species. It serves as a protective shell or for the well, pupa the as it and undergoes its remarkable transformation inside the child cellies, tri cellies. The pupa undergoes a complete transformation, developing wings, legs, and other adult features. This process can take several weeks, depending on the species and environmental conditions. Once the transformation is complete, the adult butterfly or moth emerges from the child sallies, pumps fluid into its wings, and takes its first flight. This marks the, the end of the pupal stage and the beginning of the adult stage of the insect's life cycle. Trisalises can be found in a variety of habitats including gardens, meadows, and forests. They are often attached to leaves, stems, or other structures and can be easily camouflaged to blend in with their surroundings. Tri cellises are fascinating structures that, that play a social role and the life cycle of butterflies and moths. They serve 
as a protective cocoon during the transformation from caterpillar to adult and are a testament to the incredible diversity and beauty of the natural world. Click beetles, also known as a clicker beetles, are a type of insects in the family Elatridae. They are known for their ability to make a clicking sound when they are disturbed or threatened. Click. Click beetles have a unique machinism for producing this sound. They have a spent on the underside on the underside of their thorax that can be snapped into a groove on the upper side of the body. This produces a clicking sound that can startle predators and help the beetle escape. Click beetles come in a variety of colors and sizes, but they all have a cylinder elon elongated body shape. They are typically brown or black in color and may have strips or spots on their body. Click beetles are found in many parts of the world and are often found in forests, fields, and gardens. They are typically active at night and feed on a variety of insects and other small animals, while click beetles are generally harmless to humans, some species can be considered pests. For example, the larvae of some click beetle species can cause damage to crops by feeding on plant roots. Overall, click beetles are fascinating insects that play an important role in their ecosystems. Their unique clicking machinism, their unique clicking mechanism can is just one of many adaptations that help them survive in the wild. Now fly larvae, also known as maggots, are the lar larval stage of flies. They are often seen as unpleasant and dirty, but they actually play an important role in many ecosystems decomposers. Fly larvae hatch from eggs that are laid by adult flies, typically the same organic matter such as rotting food, animal carcasses, or faces. The larvae then feed on this material, breaking it down into simpler compounds that can be absorbed by other organisms in the ecosystem. In the ecosystem, fly larvae come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Depending on the species, they are all typically white or yellow in color and may have small bristles or hooks on their body to help them move. Wildfly larvae are often associated with filth and disease. They are actually used in a variety of applications. For example, some species of fly larvae are used in medical treatments to clean wounds or remove dead tissue. They are also used in some types of composting where they help break down organic matter into fertilizer. Overall, fly larvae may not be the most appealing creatures to look at. They play an important role in many ecosystems and have some surprising uses. Also, luminous gnat is actually not a known genus of cockroaches. There are over 4,500 known species cockroaches.
and while new species are still being discovered, there are currently not known genus with, a, with that name. That being said, many species of cockroaches are fascinating creatures that have adapted to survive in a variety of environment. They are known for their ability to survive in harsh conditions, and some species are even capable of living for weeks without food or water. Cockroaches can be found in many parts of the world and are often considered pests due to their ability to spread disease and cause allergies. However, they are also play an important role in many ecosystems as decomposer, helping to break down or organic matter into simpler compounds. Overall, while lum luminous nahd may not be a known genes of cockroaches, there is still much to learn and discover about these fascinating creatures.